Hey there. I know it's been a little while, and I I kept trying to remember, and, and I did get some bits and pieces. I was hoping maybe today we could go to all of our favorite places that we've been, and kind of revisit them, you know? I try not to let it bother me, but I don't want you sad. And part of me thinks that you might be really sad thinking you lost me, and I'm not giving up on being my old self, and even if I can, I'll do something to make you happy. I could tell by that look in your eyes, call it an instinct, but you really cared for me. You really loved me, and I... I want you to be happy. I want to fall in love with you again. What'd you say? Uh, oh. Beauty? Cool. I remembered something. It was a meal on the boardwalk, I think. Did we go there? A ways back? I uh, admittedly am a little foggy on it, but it might be something. Really? So I guessed something, right? That's lovely. I... I'm... So happy, I... I was so worried, honestly. <laughs> I just... Didn't want to leave you feeling alone. Because I know how it is sometimes in this world, you know? It gets so lonely, and... You might feel like you're the only one who understands something, and... And I kind of felt in that situation... After this... I tried, and I tried not to feel that way, but... You know, sometimes you can't force things. You gotta be human with it. <laughs> and... Well, I... I really care a lot about you, and I... I thought maybe we could make it... More of getting to know each other again. I know it may feel like a reset button. But that's just an opportunity to play the game over and get an even better score. Right? No, it's okay. <laughs> My eyes are just sweating. Don't worry about it, baby. I'm... Should I still call you baby? I know that we're together, or we were, but do you feel comfortable with it? I just thought, if I called you that maybe one time, in a cool location or something, we'd end up understanding what... Well, I might have a memory, and... You might get to know me all over again, and I might be able to find myself easier that way. Do you still want to stick with me? I, I totally understand if you don't. I, I wouldn't ask that of you. If it hurts too much, you should just tell me. I won't mess around, and I, I can handle it. To be honest, it's sad to me. But it's not something I can't beat, because... I fight everything, and I win. You know, I... I think I had someone I looked up to. A whole lot. A classmate of mine. I don't know who they were. But I remember... Something about my... My hero outfit. I... Did something to... Because I... I had respect for them, and I... <laughs> my head hurts a little. But I think I did something with my hero outfit that has to do with one of our classmates. Do you know who it might be? Hmm. Where are our classmates now? Oh. I can't visit them? Are... Are you sure they're not going to be around lately, or...? Oh. I... I must have forgotten. Oh, look at me. I don't even know why. I just... I shouldn't feel anything, should I? Because... <laughs> the me right now, I... Barely have any memories of them. But I feel like... A dear friend. A dear friend is. someplace far away. 
I... I... understand. You can't always predict what's gonna happen. And there was an accident. I, I get it. It was a year ago, wasn't it? That's okay. Let's not dwell on that. I... I don't want to show you anymore. You know, me being too scared or sad. I... I gotta face this, and I'm gonna be honest, I don't think I'm ready. Sometimes the past is just too much, and that's why I think it's important you mentally prepare yourself before you do it. Now let's go find out some good memories, okay? We'll deal with all this stuff later. Hey, same goes to you. Don't be afraid to be, well, yourself in front of me. Don't hide the deeper inner parts of yourself and just be you. I... I love you, I think. Uh, at least as far as I understand the word. <laughs> There's a lot of that word that I, you know, still have to really in-depth kind of figure out, but as far as I know, I can feel a feeling when I look at you that I can't explain by words and I don't know what else to call it. So I'm kind of proud of myself there. You're so important that whatever happened, I... I couldn't even forget you, no matter what kind of trauma. I don't think I ever will, I just... I may have forgotten memories and maybe important ones too, but the feeling of loving you, it's right here. That's what I call the most... Beauty cool thing I can do. Because I'll brave this. And show you I can be just as cool as the old me. No, even cooler. And more than that, I'm gonna make sure that I... That I will... Give you... Everything that comes to mind. I'll be an open book. I, I hope I was before. I, I think I was. I can't see myself not being it. It's just how I conduct myself, you know? You know... Gotta be plus ultra, and... Wait. I remember... Bakugo and Deku and... Okay. Starting to get some memories back. Of... Some memories of them. I remember always thinking... I've got the best friends. But then... I thought... I thought I... It was something about you. Back when we were in class, I must have been thinking about you a whole lot. Because I remember the strong feeling. It was almost two years ago now. We did something. It was when we first met. I, I, I'm not really sure, to be honest with you. It was kind of something really special and... I vaguely remember it, you know? And with all that, I... I wish I could tell you more. Maybe you can fill me in on the details. What happened when we first met? <laughs> I would have guessed it was in school, so I guess I'm not too shabby at guessing. Okay. Oh, wow. Maybe that's what I was remembering. Not bad, me. I got the hang of this memory thing, and I won't let any of this stop me. The doctors may say one thing, but I don't believe them. I'll prove it by my own merit. You got that? I'll be the most beauty cool in this world. Shall we be off? I know. I'm sorry about earlier. I didn't mean to lose my cool there, and the waterworks, and you know, I, I'm trying here to give you everything, and it's sometimes a little overwhelming, because the guilt of it, and I know it, it's not really my fault, but it feels like it is, and I'm just, I just need you to know I'm trying my best, and I won't give up. It's not in my blood, and it's not in who I am. So you can count on me. For this and for everything. I won't let you down. 
I'll be the most beauty cool thing ever. Or was it supposed to be you being beauty cool and me being uh, something else? I think I used to use a moniker, but I don't know what it was. Oh yeah, I used to call myself the most manly, didn't I? Wait, manly or was it fancy or uh, I'm not really sure. Wait, it was manly? Ha, I knew I got something right. See, I'm getting the hang of things, so you don't need to worry so much. I can see it in your eyes, too. You gotta promise if you're gonna stay around me. Try not to worry, okay? We'll get through this together. And be just like we were. Even better. And we'll make the world our can of beans. I don't even really know if I like beans. But it came to mind. I get a lot of those weird thoughts where they just... They feel like they were there already, deja vu. But for everyone that's there, I have so many more questions. But I think it's more fun that way. Otherwise, I'll, well, get overwhelmed, and I don't really feel like that's a good plan of action. It would just get in the way of both of us and make you worry even more, and me worry and me feel bad, and now I feel like I'm talking like a caveman, but let's get on our way. Want me to hold your hand? There. That's the spirit? See, we're making progress already. I'm ecstatic about, well, learning what I missed with you and, you know, getting to know you better. I love you lots, and I hope you can see that. No, of, of course you'll see that. I won't let myself fade into obscurity, and, you know, if you don't love me, th that's okay, too. I, I guess I didn't want to pressure you into feeling like you're obligated to. No, I want you to feel like I, you know, earned it. That I'm the person, or even better than the person you used to know. I mean, I'm still them, at least at heart, because I, I have these feelings that I can't explain, but they're there. Even if the brain is damaged, the heart is there. And I, I strive to make you, to make you feel like you're... You're mine, and that I'm yours, and that I'm me, and that you're you, and I have a lot of things that I still need to face, a lot of devils, I guess, or villains in this case. Now, why don't we go and go to the first location? Just between you and me? Let's call it a date. One to remember at that. Ha, <laughs> I hope I'll remember. I don't think I'll have any more memory issues from now on. Oh, it gets me curious of, you know, the details of everything. I, I just think, well, you know, it's a little weird that it happened in the first place, so I, I get a little nervous, but I wonder what happened. When I think about it, my head hurts. I feel like it's not as simple as people say, but... At the same time, I know my my mind runs off and makes silly assumptions sometimes, so I'll just leave it at that. How about you, babe? You excited about today? It's going to be a memory to remember forever. A revisiting of the past. And a great location, which is, well, decided by fate. So it's okay. I'm not going to sweat it. Let's get going. It feels good to hold your hand. Puts my heart at ease, you know. Not a lot of things do that these days. Thinking about working out? That helps me. Thinking about holding your hand? That helps me in ways I can't even explain. Do I ever, well, help you? I sure hope I do. It'd be such a shame if I didn't. And, well, uh... I was hoping that maybe you might want to... I can't ask it. Not yet. I was going to ask if maybe after we experience some places... Well, would it be okay if I, uh... If I... Did something special for you. It's... Nothing too special, it just 
came to mind when I was thinking of you. And I felt like maybe if I act on it, then it might reveal something and I could remember another memory. You sure? Well, it's nothing too secret or anything. I was just thinking maybe if I took you to my place and we just sat there and hung out. I'd imagine we spent some time there, didn't we? Knowing us, we're two firecrackers and totally not the most uh, apprehensive when it comes to spending time in ways that normal people wouldn't even understand. I know how that is. At least I think I do. I feel I do. So I'll trust my gut. Say, has your gut ever let you down? Because I think mine is pretty reliable. And I'm not just saying how I can eat stuff. Oh, I mean, well, y yeah, that way too. I, I just meant more like, you know, e eating lots of food. But that that's true too. I'm not going to slight it, nor would I judge such a beautiful observation. Also, I wanted to say, uh, thank you. Thank you for sticking with me through this. I know I'm probably a broken record on that, but it feels good to have somebody there. I felt like for a while I was there in some kind of a haze. And, well, it was scary. I didn't want to scare you, so I, you know, played the part of... Acting like I thought I should act in the moment, trusting my gut. That's how I know my gut's a good one. It's a beautiful day, isn't it? I haven't had a day this good in a while. I mean, it hasn't been that long since everything happened, but since then I just, well, it feels good to have some direction with things. Some hope and choices that we haven't taken yet. You know, if I've learned one thing from all this, it's that I can't keep living in the past, or I'll just try and be someone I'm not. And if it comes back, it comes back. But more than that, let's make brand new memories. Ones that we'll never forget. This time, I'm not holding back. I mean, maybe old me didn't hold back either. Knowing me, he was just fine. But I'm even better now. You can just call me Beauty Cool 2.0. I'll show you that I'm worth the wait, worth all this trouble. I mean, I'm gonna give it my best. There's nothing anyone can do to stop me from doing that, right? Hey, I've been meaning to ask you one thing. You don't think we're in any danger, do you? I've just been getting this uneasy feeling that that there was some kind of... I can't explain it. Oh. It's... Not a big deal, I... Oh. I mean, if you want to tell me something, I'm all ears. Just lay it on me. I can handle it. Oh, I see. Really? That sounds pretty bad. So I guess I made some enemies before things went down. Yeah, I guess they left me alone after the fact. I I don't remember what happened after all. The fact that, well, you know who did it. I mean, it's no biggie. At least not some biggie that we can take care of right now. For now, let's just focus on what we can. I'm getting memories back and watching out for anyone who might be watching. Though I think it's best if we uh, leave the past me there for now. Till we figure out why they were trying to... Well, why they did what they did. Chances are it's not a coincidence that I lost my memory. Uh, unless I'm just crazy resilient and I survived something that was meant to be worse than that. In which case, I'm even more lucky, so I have more to be thankful for. And if anyone comes, we're gonna fight them. Doesn't matter what it is. This time, we'll get away from them. I've got a trump card, baby. 
Man, it's pretty beauty cool, let me tell you. Heck, I bet you I can take on an army. Since I've been practicing around with my quirks since I forgot everything, I don't know. It feels so fluid, flowing. I can make myself in almost different shapes instead of just hardening anymore. I mean, it's not that crazy. The only difference, really, is that I can do long-range attacks now. It's pretty cool, and it helps for mobility. So if we need to pull vault off something, well, you know where to find me. I mean, I'll be right next to you, so it doesn't matter. It's not like you'll have to find me. But also, I was gonna say, uh, well, how on earth did I get someone as awesome as you? No offense to old me, but I don't know. I just feel like you're amazing, and I, I never thought in a million years I'd, well, if I had memories from a million years, but that I'd end up with someone as cool as you. I know I'm pretty cool, or at least a little bit. I like to think my talent is being me, not really doing too much else, just going about life, living it as plus ultra as I can and hoping for the best. You ever get that feeling that you're just meant to do something? Well, when I look at you, I get a feeling that I'm meant to make you smile. And I'm meant to protect that smile. And to that end, I'll do anything. I'll even face the whole wide world by myself. And I think I've gotten stronger for that reason. Maybe I was meant to lose my memories. Maybe it's fate. Maybe it'll make me even better. So that the me of the past and present combine. And I could protect you even more. So that by the end of everything, we never have to deal with another tragedy like this. Not ever again. Or at least that's what I'm banking on. And I think I'm pretty good when it comes to those gut feelings. And I got a good one about you and about me. I feel like I've powered up. Maybe it's like a secret training technique. And I could be even more manlier. Now that's what I'm talking about. Being even more of a hunk for you? Come on. By the way, why'd someone call me Shark Boy? Is that like my hero name or something? No? Huh, weird. No, it's just the nurses, you know? They're always talking to me like I'm a shark. Is it... Well, I guess it's because my teeth, isn't it? I guess I don't mind that. I've got some, you know, good and bad about me, right? I just focus on the good, let the bad be what it is. Well, you can try and improve it. But I like improving my strengths more than my weaknesses. Though I think both are important. <laughs> that way, when somebody takes a shot at me, oh, I can take it just fine. I'm a lot better than I used to be, maybe. <laughs> at least I get the feeling. At least from what I remember of the videos that I saw and what people have said, I don't think I ever had that power. But I'm glad I have it. Pretty cool if you ask me. So honestly, with everything that's happened, I'd kill to have a power that makes you smile more. You haven't smiled enough. Come on, do I have to tickle you? Don't tempt me, I will. <laughs> See me? Look in my face. See this smile? It's just for you. I'm sharing it with you because, well, you mean the world to me. And I want to see you smile, too. Don't remember. I only accept true smiles. I'm like an animal that way. I'll know if you're faking it. So don't even try. I don't want you to be fake happy anyways. What's the point in it? I want the real you. Unapologetically and... Uh, unassumingly? I, I don't really know where I was going with that, but... I just... I have a lot of thoughts on it, and as we were walking here, I just kind of mosey about my brain, and you know what comes to me? A lot of thoughts of jumbled memories. It's like I can remember fragments of a puzzle, but I can't make sense of what the main picture is, and it makes me a little scared, but somehow I know because I can find the edges sometimes that eventually I'll be able to make sense of this puzzle. <laughs> More importantly, just knowing you're here with me makes it all worth it. 
And, well, you know, my power-ups help. So I'll be twice the man you remember. And three times the man you loved before. So I hope you got all that love ready for me, baby. Because we're at our first destination. Ooh, looks like a restaurant. Hey, this is some serious deja vu. Well, you know what? I can't complain. The place looks amazing. Oh my gosh. Do I get to eat my favorite food next to my favorite person in the world? Now that's what I call a good start to a day. I haven't had a day this good since, since forever for me. At least I don't think so. And that makes me even more happy. Oh my goodness. I want a steak. Okay, okay. Don't worry. I got money in my bank. I can treat you to it. Uh, don't know what the place is called, really. Haven't seen the name and... Genjiro's? Okay. You know what? Genjiro's probably a good guy if he's making steak like this. What do you think, babe? What's looking good on the menu for you? I've always loved Japanese steakhouses. I mean, the sauces they use in everything. Oh, it gets my... my saliva going. Oh, sorry. Hope I didn't make an embarrassment out of you getting too excited. I'm practically bouncing out of my seat, though. Okay, okay, okay. Here comes the waitstaff. Let's do this. Wait, you know what you want? I sure hope you do. I could always pick for you and get it a surprise. No, oh, whatever you want. I'm more than flexible. Unless, of course, you tell me to do the splits. Then, uh, well, you know, give me a bit of a moment. I need to stretch out. See, my quirk doesn't really help me with that one. Not very much, anyways. <laughs> I mean, I might break. That wouldn't do anyone any good. What's the use of being tough if you're trying to be flexible? <laughs> Though I guess it's one or the other, isn't it? Can't be diamond and still be rubber. <laughs> hey, uh, waiter. Get me your juiciest best steak and lots of the cool sauces to dip it in. Okay? Excellent. Oh, and... Ooh, nice choice. Could you bring some of those awesome steamed dumplings? Those two? They're amazing. Oh, sorry. I, I drooled a little. But I mean, you know, food's a big deal to me. Isn't it a big deal to you too? Thanks, waiter. <laughs> I guess my people skills uh, need a little work. I almost interrupted the poor guy. I thought about it, and I didn't really... I'm not really sure what to make of it, because... I was, you know, a little mixed up in my head when I just got flooded by imagery of steak, and enjoying it with you, and talking about all the different things we need to catch up on. You know, it feels like it's been a while, too. It's so weird, the passage of time, when you're already... Well, it's almost like I've been reborn. I like to look at things on the positive side, so I like to look at it as like I've been given a good second chance. And I even learned some new things, so maybe I'm learning even faster. Maybe it's like a superhero story, where they get even better quirks once they lose their own. <laughs> I really look up to those people around me, and to you. And I want to be a hero you can look up to as well. Okay, if we're both looking up at each other, it's probably not going to work out. But I'm going to make it work out. Just you wait. Oh, waiting for this food is killing me. But it also doesn't feel like very long because I get to look at you. And talk to you. And talk at you. And have you talk at me too. How do you like it? I'd like to think I'm at least moderately talented at entertaining you. I'd like to attest this to my rambling speech and my confidence. Which is, you know, hit or miss, but I guess I never miss, huh? <laughs> well, uh, maybe I do sometimes. Don't worry about that. It's not the little things that count. 
I know what you're about to say, and you can you can roast me for it if you want. That's okay, cause uh, you gotta fail a bunch of times before you succeed. Hey, I think I've said that before. It's so true though. Do you know how many times I practiced? When I was in that hospital, oh, I had so much time. That's actually how I learned. Because I had so much time to focus on the quirk that I just, I kind of exploded with potential. And, you know, after you gave me the inspiration of the day, I kind of took it and made it into something even better. That way, next time, I'll be able to give it my all too. Wait, why do I feel like, why are you blushing? Oh, oh, you thought I meant that time. Uh, yeah, that time too, <laughs> I guess. Uh, you know, beauty cool and all. You're, you're super beauty cool and I, I did remember a few things after that encounter too. Nothing too big, but it was totally worth it. I mean, uh, it was totally awesome. Wait, no, I, I mean that I... Uh, I'm losing my words and tumbling all over. But on the bright side, the food's here. No, no. I I'm not avoiding anything. I, I just... Ah, who am I kidding? Well, I... Um, I, uh... Oh, no, I took the ceremonial first bite. Quick, you have to eat it. There we go. Now it's fair. Okay, as I was saying... Um, 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 Delicious! Oh, sorry. I wanted to tell you that I... Um... I... I'm thankful I have you. Overall, in just... In so many ways, I... I could never think of a day without you, and... Maybe it sounds sappy, or maybe I sound hopeless, but I, I don't care. That's not why I say it. I say it from the heart. And the reason why I was saying what I said before we got distracted was because I think that the best thing we could do is stay positive. To work towards a goal that we can't deny. One that we can accomplish together. So come on. Why don't we do this? That's two peas in a pod. As the beauty to my cool or the cool to my beauty. I don't really care which, because I think we both got a little beauty and a little cool. How? As long as you don't challenge me on my manliness. I think I got you beat there. Well, I think I got everyone beat there. <laughs> it's no offense to the world, but I just... I just got that gut feeling, you know? I feel like I'm the manliest man of the mans of all the world. That made sense in my head, and you know... It made sense outside, too. So I'll just keep going with it. More importantly, you need to listen to something. Not me eating, you silly. I will remember the gift I was talking about. I mean, it was originally to take you back to my place and stuff, and we could just hang out. But... There was one other thing I wanted to give you. I made it in my spare time. Since I had a lot of time, I asked for a little piece of wood and I, I carved it into something like a charm for you. That way, whenever you're feeling down, maybe this charm will bring you back up. And then, no matter where I am, you'll be able to remember that I'm thinking of you. And that I'm coming to save you if you're ever in trouble. Or that I'm missing you. Or that I want to hug you close and give you lots of kisses. Like this. <laughs> that was more embarrassing than I thought it was going to be. Uh, excuse me. Choking. Ah, uh, 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 what are you talking about, babe? I'm not running away from anything. I just, 
I got a little intimidated. <laughs> You're kind of intimidating when I think of you in certain ways, and when I think of us, and... Well, the gut feeling comes up, and I, I just get nervous, you know? I want to be good enough, and, you know, I'm a little afraid of failure. I'm not gonna lie. But I'm also pretty confident. At least realistically confident. I know I'm a good guy, and that I can take good care of you, and that I'll be a good boyfriend. I just don't want you thinking in ways that are in the past, and ways that make me out to be some kind of shell of my former self. I, I don't want that. I want to be the best me I can be for you that's even better than the past me. I guess I'm really self-conscious about it, but I understand. It won't happen overnight, and I understand that it will, you know, be something of a process, but I want you to understand also that I... I'll be as patient as it takes. I'll do as much as it takes. And I'll make you fall in love with me all over again. <laughs> Am I doing a good job? What about you, babe? What are your thoughts in all this? Any deep thoughts you want to lay on me? Go ahead, shoot! Mm-hmm. I think I understand. It must be overwhelming for you. Sorry if it felt like I was rushing you. I, I really wasn't. I promise. It was more like I didn't want to slouch. When I do something, I go at it 150% and I... I sometimes don't know when to stop and I gotta get the solution to the problem and I forget about, you know, how fragile feelings can be. Even my own. So, uh, pardon me as I try to get a balance to things. I'll never stop improving and anytime I make a mistake on something, don't worry, you can tell me. I can handle criticism. I just want to be the best me I can be, you know? And for you, I change the world. One step at a time. And any baddie that gets in our way, I'll make sure they end up in jail. You can bet on that. I want to be a hero of heroes. And I think, honestly, I've done a pretty crummy job up until now. I think I had the aspirations right, but I didn't have the follow-through. I didn't have the heart to do what needed to be done. Now, I'm not going to turn into someone who compromises on their beliefs, but I'm going to turn into someone who ascends beyond what they were before. That's my goal, and to that end, I don't think anyone could stop me. That's the only way I can face you, with that feeling in my heart. I just know it's the right thing to do. To be the boyfriend of your dreams and the man who can show you the world properly. Not just some fading glory, but something that absolutely ascends beyond that. To that extent, I, I'll never, ever stop loving you or accepting myself. You know, I... I took this and I tried to figure it out. All the problems at once, and I'll admit I got overwhelmed, but now I see things for what they are. I see what I need to do. I need to balance emotion and results. You can't just brunt force things in a relationship, nor can you with things that hurt. And I just want to make the things that hurt turn into my power. And by the end of it, ascend to be a Karishima Eijiro that can take on the world. Is it embarrassing when I say my own name? I just thought it was something that, given the circumstances, would be pretty cool. That's what I call a good meal, though. I'm almost done, and I've only taken a few bites. Well, I think my teeth are coming in handy. You know, sharp teeth run in my family. <laughs> it's not just me. Do you like my sharp teeth? I'd imagine when I kiss you, it makes things a little, well, different than, you know, if you kiss someone else. I, I hope you never would, but, well, at one point I got to thinking, and I was like, 
Well, what if there's someone who's a better kisser and I... Uh, never mind, I... I got too... ahead of myself, so I'll... I'll, uh... <laughs> let those... random thoughts run on their way. So... Let's pack up and get home. I know we were gonna s go to the other places, but... You know... I think if we did, I... Well... I guess we can. The thing is... I want to spend more time with you. Even if it is at my own home. Or... Well, anywhere. I've come to understand through coming here. It's... Not gonna fix my memory to go to the places we've been. Nor do I want those memories that bad. What I want is to make new, even better ones. I can't think of it any other way now. Once I talked to you today, it inspired me. And I just... I got so... So damn... Like... Ecstatic. Like, when I think about it, I just think... You're amazing, and... And... I want to be amazing with you. And for you. And, you know, for myself, too. There's a lot of it that just goes through my head, one ear out the other. But then there's a lot of it that I study until it doesn't. And I think... You taught me an important lesson today. I was so self-conscious about the past that I was inhibiting our future. And so... Baby... I'm going to make you happy. And I'm going to do it with purely new things. And if we remember the old, awesome. But even if it never comes back, I'll be an even better me than the previous one. And that soul is still in here. That heart is still beating in my chest. So the old me will live on. And I'll make sure you never feel lonely again. So as a start to that great plan... I'm going to give you the best that I know how. I mean, it's pretty silly of me, isn't it? I worried about all this, and I could have spent that time doing something nicer for you. But the way I see it, it's never too late to make a good decision. So come on, let's go. You know, walking with you, hand in hand, it's nostalgic. It reminds me of even stranger feelings. I like holding your hand, you know? It's a strong bond that I wouldn't want to compromise with anything, and thank you. Again. I don't want to sound like, you know, someone who's overly thankful and repetitive, but I, I just got to say it. I think a lot of people would have been too heartbroken to, like, actually face me. And that's a scary thought, because I can't imagine going at this alone. It would have been a lot more stressful, and I don't really do well in stressful situations. I can handle pressure, but stress is a whole nother thing. I try and avoid it altogether. You ever run into that? Where the stress tries to follow you, and you just have to tell it no. You're not going to get me today. Well, when I hold your hand, I just... I want to do something like this. And that's because... I, I love you and you take all the stress away. And all the stress of the day when I see you smile, it makes me even happier. I get super happy. Did you know that? It's... Not like me to say things like this, but it makes me desperate with excitement. And no matter how unmanly it is, I'll hold your hand forever. No matter who's watching. You know, sometimes people call me hopeless. Or at least a memory told me that. Not that in the mean way or anything, but sometimes it wears me down a bit. I think even when people are joking about negative things, it sometimes gets to you. It always makes me sad when I hear someone uh, joke about self-deprecating things. I'll be honest, I don't like it at all. 
Because every time I hear it, it makes me think, what if even 1% of them believes it? Even if a sliver of your heart believes it, then you're going to be a little more sad. And I know you've done it a few times. Not super often or anything, and I don't want you to feel bad about it. I just... I don't want you blaming yourself. Not for this or anything. Don't worry about who's to blame for a situation. What we have is each other, and that's what's important. We have our health, we have each other, and we've got a future for ourselves. So, just gotta believe in tomorrow, and the rest will write itself like an ever-going book. I want to be your favorite chapter. Hopefully in a lot of chapters. Let me cameo that book all over the place. Also, I, well, my rambling self needed to say, even though I said I think I love you earlier, I know it's 100% the case. I, I didn't mean to say it that way. I was just kind of nervous to make you feel like you had to be anything that you thought you had to be. And I just want you, unapologetically you, Beauty cool you. Okay, that was a lot of use for a sentence, but hey, look at that. We're home. I know, I know. I kind of thought about going to other places, but since it's getting dark now, I just felt more comfortable being in the house with you. Yes. Ever seen the cuter animal ever? <laughs> Not to brag or anything, but past us have good taste in animals. This little fella has kept me company through it all. Who's a good fuzzy? Who's a good fuzzy? I don't mean to get off topic, but... Well, obviously, you knew about them, but... It feels really good to have an animal around, too. Maybe it's just me, but I find comfort in the innocence of them. How they're so nice and just... They always give you their heart. And for all the mischief they cause, they're really good and honest creatures. I guess I've always taken after them in that way. I like to be good, honest, and to the point. No beating around the bush for me most of the time. So when I'm really nervous, it's a little more difficult to uphold that. But that's probably what I'm most confident in the world at. Trying my best. Nobody can beat me at trying. That's why I'm confident I'll succeed. I won't let you down, okay? I wouldn't dream on it. Hey, why the long face? I know it's not easy sometimes. And I know I've contributed a lot to that. And I'm sorry what the other me did. It seems to have sat badly with you. But... On the bright side, it doesn't seem like those people are after us anymore. Whoever did it. They're leaving us alone, so... We have something to be thankful for, right? I'll take it as... You know... Mercy, maybe luck, maybe even fate. But I know one thing. I'm madly in love with you. And every time I kiss you, it's what dreams are made out of. I could kiss you forever, you know. Just make you feel so loved and... I promise I'm not... I'm not greedy. Well, at least not excessively. But I am determined. Determined to make you... All mine again. And do what my past self couldn't. Protect you 
and myself and our happiness. <laughs> I promise, I'm not just talk, and I'll show you. Through every touch and every word, I'll make sure a resounding feeling always backs in. And that way, you know I'm dead serious about you and about what I'm telling you. Can you really blame me, though, for getting a little naughty with things? I do have you to look forward to, don't I? That's more than most men could take. I can only restrain myself sometimes because I'm the manliest. But then there's times like this. But, well, I was hoping, hoping we could spend our night just cuddling together. Maybe watching something, maybe just talking the night away. You name it. I'm not picky, you know. I can think of a million things we can do. Not one of which I would consider boring. Did you know? I never get bored when I'm around you. Not ever. How do you feel, babe? I hope you feel amazing. I... Well... I hope I did a good enough job. But if I didn't, I'm not going to get discouraged. Instead, I'm going to just do better next time. Was today fun for you? I hope so. I hope you can see the new me emerging. I've got so much left to show you. I didn't even get a chance to do anything else. And, well, let's just say it's going to be a lot better from here on out, okay? All the drama can stay outside the house and we'll keep being happy. And I'm going to be the best hero in the world. So we'll see what happens, okay? Now, want to go watch some memes with me on YouTube? <laughs> I heard there's some juicy ones today. What do you think? I think some TikToks are in order. Well, that's my opinion. Let's go.